Hey friends, today I am excited to show you how to use the Svelte Inspector. How many times have you bumbled around your editor looking for the component you want to change? So for example, here I have the default Svelte project and let's say for example you want to change something simple as the navbar or the counter and even if you had a more complicated project, now you have to go to your editor and then you have to paw <laughs> through your project and now you have to find the component and that takes time and it's mental overhead, right? So it would be awesome if we could just inspect this somehow and it would open in the editor. And this is possible if I look at this example here. So you can literally do that using the Svelte Inspector plugin by enabling this either config and I'm going to show you how and it's really awesome. So if I scroll down here, as I mentioned here for regular Svelte projects using Vite, you can just enable it inside Vite config.js. So if you scaffold your project using Vite, you can just say here where the plugin Svelte Experimental Inspector True and it's going to have some default options for you. But if you're using SvelteKit like I am, you can enable it inside the SvelteKit config.js like this, which I'm going to show you in a second. But here is the documentation that I linked in the post. So here it shows you the same thing I mentioned in the post, how to enable the experimental options. And unfortunately you won't have autocomplete because it's experimental, so you have to look at the options inside the documentation. But yeah, this is how you would set it up for a normal Svelte project. And here's how you enable it inside the Svelte project. And if I scroll further down, we can see the inspector here and we can see the options so we can change the shortcut, enable the hold mode, which is interesting. I'm going to show you in a second what it means. We can toggle it and we can even give it custom styles. But yeah, it's really awesome. So let's look into how we can set it up. And now since I'm inside a Svelte folder, this is just a regular Svelte folder, nothing special. I'm just going to open the Svelte config and then I can just add the config, right? So we can start by enabling the inspector. So we can say vit plugin and we can say experimental. We can say inspector true. And this should now work if we go to our page and by the default, the shortcut is meta, your Windows key plus shift. So we can see we're going to get this nice overlay. And now that you're holding it, you can just find the component you want to change. When you click on it, it should open inside your editor. And how awesome is this? And to toggle it off, you can just press meta shift again and it's going to somehow it's a bit buggy experimental. So if that doesn't work, just click it right here and it's going to disappear. But yeah, that's awesome. So let me just show you some other options that's from the documentation also. So we can just copy over this part and then I'm going to show you. So you can change your shortcut key here. If your hold mode is interesting, let me just show you what hold mode does. So basically if you hold meta shift, and you can do your work, whatever, click on the component. And then if you release it, it's just going to exit that mode. But yeah, it's really awesome. And remember, if you're stuck in this mode, you can just press the shortcut again, or you can press the button. And then you can also show toggle button always, as we can see, that's in the top right corner. So this is the button and you can toggle if you want to show this always or not, which is really awesome. And then for the last one, you can toggle where the position is. So by default, it's top right. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.